Hello, this is James Dewar, your host of the James Dewar Show and the Seven Steps to Financial Success. Today I have a very special guest. Uh, is Jaime Elias with uh, Farmers Insurance. How are you doing, James? Pretty good, Jaime. Pretty good. Good, good. We're going to get into some specifics on property and casualty, but you need to have, as part of the seven steps, you always need to have a reputable and quality and somebody you can call uh, day or night if you have any problems with uh, auto or, or home insurance. But we're going to go right into the seven steps because we've been very busy. We've had a lot of guest hosts on there, and we want to go over the seven steps. And then, Jaime, we're going to visit a little bit about property uh, uh, insurance Mm -hmm. and what happens if your neighbor's trees falls on your house. Yep. And uh, we can talk about that later. Sure. But the uh, the seven steps of financial success, and we were uh, visiting earlier about this, If, if you just do the seven steps... Uh, you will have a successful and financially uh, successful life. You just need to follow the six steps, and step seven is enjoying life. So step one is is something that people gloss over a lot, and they don't really keep it up to date. But step one in the James Dewar seven steps is term insurance. And it's critical that you get term insurance by a reputable company and call call me or go to my website. Uh, my website is jamesdewer.com. That's J-A-M-E-S-D-U-E-R-R.com. Go to my website and we'll have somebody meet with you to get the term insurance because not all term insurance is created equal. At some point, you're gonna to wanna to convert that to like a permanent life insurance so you can build cash with that. And if you don't have the right company, you don't have the right policy, uh, you could be in for rude awakening. So term insurance is step one and that's your safety net and let us help you uh, uh, calculate your unique insurance number for that. Step two in the James Dewar seven steps is cash value life insurance. So once you have term insurance, you want to have something that you can always have for life. You'll never lose it. And that is cash value life insurance. And that is where you can build cash tax-free. You take the money out of the policy tax-free. And if you, if you, the worst happens and you do pass, then your family gets the money tax-free. So it's a very valuable uh, policy for your family. And you need to have cash value life insurance step two. Step three is income annuity. So for income annuities, you want to have enough guaranteed income coming in. So if you're if you're older, you think you're going to have Social Security, maybe you won't need as much. But if you're younger, you may want to count that maybe Social Security may not be there in its original state right now. So you want to make sure that you have enough guaranteed income coming in at retirement that will take care of all your all your fixed expenses and that's what you want to do with the income annuity and we can help you and that's step three step four is a stock market and we can sit down with you and have you uh, meet with a wealth advisor or a financial professional who can help you take the emotion out of the stock market and there's a lot of emotion in the stock market now and that's why you need to contact us uh, step five is real estate and we we have the, the best of the best real estate sponsors. We have Realty One Group Emerald, and they're on our homepage at thejamesdewer.com. Please reach out and talk to Patrick and Brian out there. They can help you amass up to 5 to 30% of your assets in real estate by the time you retire, and then you will be set and you'll be the smartest kid on the block. Step six is long-term care insurance. Now, that is something a lot of people don't stress, but it's very important. And there's a lot of very sad stories out there. People need it and they don't have it or they wait too long and they don't they don't qualify for it because long term care insurance is not like regular insurance It's very difficult to get. And if you do qualify, it may be very expensive. So call our office. Call me at three, six, one, four, four, two, four, eight, one, one. That's three, six, one. 442-4811 and we can have you sit down with a qualified financial service professional who can uh, give you the options. I just You just you need to do that in your 40s. You need to do that in your 50s. Do not wait to your 60s. Do it early. You can have a much lower premium and a much lower premium as you go into retirement. And step seven is enjoy life. So we have a program just for enjoying life because we didn't get to talk about it as much on our 10 o'clock financial show as we like to. So we started a 5 p.m. San Antonio entertainment show. 
and uh, and actually uh, uh, Jaime Elias with Farmers Insurance is going to be our guest on it because he's gonna, he's going to talk about his family and all the things he does in San Antonio. I tell you, he was busy this last weekend, <laughs> but you'll hear that later on in the entertainment show. But right now, I want to talk to you about something that I found out. Unfortunately, I find out about it that I actually had a tree, my neighbor's tree, fell on my garage. And guess whose responsibility it was? Mine. Yep. So I did not realize that. I did not realize that I would have to send a notarized or certified letter to my neighbor stating that I was, I'm afraid that your trees are unsafe and they may fall on my house. That is correct. So what has happened to that? I mean, I, I didn't think it was always like that. Why is, the, why is it now if your neighbor's tree falls on your property, are you responsible for your neighbor's tree? That's... I mean, that's always, and not always, but um, I would say the last few years, uh, the clause mm -hmm. on, on something like that, that your neighbor tree falls on your property, you actually have to uh, file a claim under your policy. And then what happens is your policy or your company is going to go and subordinate your neighbor's policy, right? hoping that your neighbor has insurance because... If he doesn't have insurance, then you're basically your your policy will pay for it. Okay. Uh, the word subordination means that basically we you know we're gonna go collect the monies to maybe we, pay back your correct. deductible. Yes. Uh -huh, yeah. We we will collect your deductible, mm -hmm. and then we will collect um, any 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 repairs or any damages out you know monies that we had to pay to repair your your okay. house or your garage or who you know whatever whatever was damaging your property so. so what do you what do you recommend for how do people protect their property um you know if you see uh, if you see like a tree that maybe you think you know it it uh it may be too close to your you know to your fence or um the branches are maybe you know over over the fence, right? Right. Uh, you know, talk to your neighbor. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's where you wanna you wanna get um, um you wanna get proactive. Okay, so that's uh, probably the first step. Is yes, this, you know, it's neighborly to, thing. Talk correct. to them. Talk say to you have a you have an issue. Yeah, you're you worried. Know, and I mean, and if the neighbor, if you got, I guess, bad neighbors, I mean, you know, just, I mean, maybe t you know, tell tell them, you know, hey, let's go half and half or. You know, try to fix the problem before something happens. Right. That, that's that will be my first step is is talk to your neighbors. Yeah. So. And see, I never even realized it because I didn't. I mean, I had these beautiful big pecan trees in the backyard, in his backyard, and and yeah, I love pecan trees, mm -hmm. and uh, so I didn't really think about it. Yes. And that's why I wanted to, to get you on the show, Hami Elias with Farmers Insurance. And you can find his logo actually on our homepage of the James Durr site. And his home, his phone number and his website address and his link to his website is right there. You just go to jamesdewer.com, J-A-M-E-S-D-U-E-R-R.com. And you can click right through the Hami. But it's important that you talk to Hami because I... You know, I've I've owned you know a dozen homes over the years, and I've I've never knew yeah. that the laws have changed. Mm -hmm. But but probably more important is the fact that you need to have a company who's going to stand behind mm -hmm. it. Pretty so much. So if you do have a problem, yeah. Farmers Insurance will come in and yeah. and, uh, and and take care of it. And that's really the the, the big takeaway from today yeah. is have a reputable company. And some po some policies will will actually pay for you to remove that tree oh will i uh, yeah okay so uh, you know it's a uh, you know I, I would say check your check your policy um and uh there should be a section there of uh you know what's included what's excluded mm -hmm. uh trees and shrubs that's uh, one of them that uh you know you may want to look at right and, and or if not just call your insurance agent and then you know have have a meeting with them maybe you haven't you haven't had your policy reviewed in in years, uh, so maybe now's the time to yeah, exactly now's the time to to get together with your agent and, and review that policy. So, right. so again, we're talking about property and casualty insurance with Farmers Insurance, and this is a it's not we don't have it listed on the seven steps, but it is very important because we talk about safe money. We want you to to be protected in life, and to be protected, you need to have a good quality property and casualty company to take care of your auto, take care of your home. Um, I was I was thinking, so if I'm gonna 
if, if I'm moving into a house, mm-hmm. probably the first thing I want to do, especially if I'm buying a new house, I see limbs coming over. I need to start thinking about that. Yeah. I, I had no idea yeah. about. I mean, one of the other things that, that most companies will do out there is they'll, they'll do a home inspection. Oh, okay. So, so when once, they come out. So they, once the policy is issued, uh, and I'm, I'm going to talk about farmers, we, we go out there and, well, actually, first of all, it is my duty as a as a licensed insurance agent to go inspect a property, property before you insure it. Before right. I insure it, because we want to make sure that the property is insurable. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, doesn't have any broken windows. You know, paint's not peeling off. You don't have any trash. Uh, trees or the limbs are not, not not touching the you know the roof or you know or the house. Mm-hmm. Uh, want to make sure that the roof. You know, looks looks good, looks right. in good condition. So yeah, it is it is my duty as a as a farmer's agent to to go inspect the home prior to binding the policy. And then once the policy is, is bounded, then farmers sends out a third party company to go inspect the home, and they're basically going to do the same oh, the same thing as, you did. as I did. I, I tell my clients, I'm I'm not an inspector by any means, but my experience, I've been doing this nine years, and mm-hmm. I, I I know what to look for because. Again, I've been, you know, I, 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 got, I got experience. So, right. So, I, if I see a, if I see a tree limb touching, you know, a portion of the roof of the house, I will tell them, you know, you may want to kind of cut that off. You're right. Right. Um, you know, if I see, you know, maybe the paint is peeling off, I'll, you know, I'll make a notation on that. Um, we don't like to see broken windows. We don't like to see any trash. Um, but for the most part, I mean, that's what the company is gonna is gonna go look for is uh, you know, basically what I put in the application or two story home. It is a two story home, brick siding. It's a brick home, you well, know, so forth. So we're running out of time. That Jaime sure. with uh, uh, Farmers Insurance. I really appreciate you being here and sharing that Thanks with us. Thanks for having me, James. And we look forward to next time. Yes, sir. Thank you.